everyone, it's Bailey from Making Up the Midwest, and this is going to be a video showing you how to get the look that I'm wearing right now. It is an, uh, I, like a bronze goddess look, I guess, is what it ultimately became, but really what it was was a tutorial showing you how to make orange eyeshadow wearable. I recently got, if you've seen the, the haul, you'll know that I got this little sucker from Inglot, and I wanted to challenge myself to make it, um, there are a ton of ways you can wear it, like pizzao all over your face, but I wanted to make it a little more wearable, so, um, you know, anyone could bring orange into their everyday look and I think this did a good job for a nice kind of bronze goddessy summer look so if you'd like to see how I do it please continue watching so I'm starting this tutorial bare face as you can see there and I'm using Inglot's AMC cream foundation I thought I would give you a quick before and after here it's not gonna be a full review I just wanted to show you um, a before face and an after which is what I have on now because some of you said in the haul that I that I first mentioned this in a lot of you said that people review the eyeshadows a whole lot and you see those everywhere but not a lot of people do the foundation so I thought I would just give you a peek um, about the if, uh, hmm? information about that is what I wanted to give you <laughs> And I also spritzed some of this Scandinavia uh, No More Shine Makeup Finish. This is for the, for the oily skin, that formula. And I did it because it just kind of sets my, well, obviously it sets my makeup, but I feel like it takes, um, it really just helps it work into the skin a little bit better. And I'm going to be walking around outside today, and so I don't want my makeup wearing off. So I spritzed this on, and I buffed that into my skin, like into the foundation that I had on. Then to kind of breeze through the rest of my face, I applied the Garnier Skin Renew. This is the Roll On Anti Dark Circle Roller. Then I used my Young Blood Concealer. This is in the shade Fair. I set all of that with my Makeup Forever. This is just the silica powder, the yeah high def powder. And for the brushes, I used my Bdellium 958. This is my all over face brush. You'll see me using that with the powder and also the Bdellium 787 which I use for not only applying my concealer but also the HD powder to set my concealer and blemishes. So that's what that was. Alright now we finally get to the eyes and as usual I'm prepping with my NYX eyeshadow base. This is in the skin tone, the flesh tone color. Now we're starting with the shadows, and this is going to be a very bizarre order, but this is the way I did it when I originally created the look, and so because I wanted to turn out, turn out the same, I'm just going to be doing the things the same way I did there. So to start, I took my, um, just a fluffy blending brush. This is the one that I got in my last My Glam Bag way back when, when they first gave you a brush. That was that. So I take that, and I put it in this color. This is my Inglot. This is the Inglot Rainbow Eyeshadow in 108R the orange color and I'm putting it in this darkest color here so I just lightly tap it in there because these are very pigmented and I'm just going to sweep that in my crease these are just so crazy pigmented I love it then taking that same fluffy blending brush, I'm putting it in this matte medium brown color right here. This is by Stila, and it's the shade Puppy, but it's um, nearly identical, I think, to Buck in uh, the Urban Decay Shadow Buck, which is in Naked One, and I think you could probably buy it individually. And I'm sticking that in, in my crease, but towards the outer half of the crease, so working it in here. Next shadow going on is Stila's Shadow in Kitten. That's this one right here. And if you don't know what it is, it's a cult classic. But it's kind of a champagne, um, just a very, very shimmery champagne color. They're well known for it because it's a really great color, not only as an eyeshadow highlight, but um, cheek highlight, Love the Cupid's Bow, just really all-purpose kind of shadow. But that's beside the point. I'm using this shadow on my inner corner to highlight there as well as my brow bone. Right, then for the lid part of the look, I'm going in with Urban Decay's Half Baked. It's this gold shade right here. And I'm patting that pretty much from where I placed Kitten all the way to the outer corner. Then taking my Bedellium 716, just a little pencil brush like that, I'm taking Half Baked again and putting that just um, on my inner corner really from where I laid Stila's kitten down and putting, taking it about halfway across the eye, the under eye. Lower lash line is what I'm trying to say. Then for the outer portion of the lower lash line, I took a mixture of the orange and puppy. I guess this is the orange and the puppy color that I used on my lid. And I'm placing that, like I said, on my lower, the outer portion of my lower lash line, just right there. All right, now it's time to define the eyes a little bit because this can look a little sickly if you don't kind of give them some definition. And for that, I'm using my Dolly Wink Liquid Liner. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm just finishing off with mascara. I'm using Too Faced Lashgasm and eyeliner on my black eyeliner on my lower waterline. And this is Physicians Formula Custom Eye Enhancing um, Eyeliner Trio Liner from the Green Liner Trio. Now it's time to get the face match in the eyes. You can't have these bronze goddess eyes without the face to match, obviously. So I'm using, going in and using at the same time, Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. This is in Princess. For blush, I'm taking another Wet n Wild color. This is the color Pearlescent Pink. It looks very much like um, Narza's Orgasm or even um, the Balm's Hot Mama. Last of the lips, and I promise this is the one thing I'm keeping simple. This is Senna's Lip Gloss in Awake. I got this in my Total Beauty box, and I'm actually really loving it. It's probably the one thing that I love the most out of both Total Beauty collections I have received. All right, and that finishes up my tutorial using an orange eyeshadow to create this bronze goddess summer look. I hope you enjoyed that. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.